begins These are the tones the theater turn and then find out who wins Who gets to go home with that glorious ornament We are your hosts And we're perfectly suited to be Because did you know One of us has ever won anything. That can't be right, Sarah. No, you, no Grammys for you, really? No, no, nothing, nothing. Yeah, no, no, and I'm shocked for you. Yeah, well, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> anyway, so let's take a moment for all of us before all the women shine bright. Lest you forget about 90% of us Leave empty-handed tonight ooh, ooh, ooh. So this is for the people who lose Cause both of us have been in your shoes ooh, ooh. This one's for the loser inside of you And this is for the people who Shows who prove in a lack of top honor won't make you a goner, it might even make you a boss. Jesus Christ Superstar, Dream Girls and Hair. Wow, hair? I know, it's hair. Into the Woods. Wow, but it's so good. Yeah, lost it to Phantom. Couldn't they share? Chicago and Waitress are still selling tickets. But neither went home with Best Musical. And you one of the most produced movie. shows is Mother Musical. <laughs> And this is for the people who lose Cause most of us have been in your shoes ooh, ooh. Look, you're at the Tonys, this one's for you And this is for the people who don't Yeah, to take the trophy home Work so hard to write you a ditty Raise your glass to Radio City much as we all love a rave review, we're here because we love it even if we lose. The last of the stories and how we all feel, these shows help us open our hearts and they heal. In a world that is scary and hard to endure, if you make art at all, you're a part of the cure. So whether you close in a week or ten years, Antoine honors everyone here. Ladies and gentlemen, representing the hardest working men and women on Broadway, ensemble members from every nominated musical tonight. <laughs> so this is for all the people who play. What a great night this is to celebrate theater. Some of you may know us because we were both introduced to the world of Broadway through our show's Waitress and The Great Comet. And some of you, thank you. And some of you may know us better from hearing our music maybe on the radio. Or at a Starbucks, or in a hotel <laughs> elevator. Or in a romantic comedy starring Kate Hudson. Or maybe in your mom's RAV4. Mm. 
or in a summer camp uh, slideshow. Yeah. Or at a wedding for your friend Trish. Or on a mixed CD from college you labeled emotional. <laughs> Seriously though, this is truly a dream come true for the both of us since we were both theater kids. In fact, here's proof. That's me playing Fern in Charlotte's Web in Humboldt County when I was 14. And here I am at age nine as Mr. Mistopheles. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. In my backyard production of Cats. Where's Andrew Lloyd Webber? Where are you? <laughs> Eat your heart out, sir. Eat your heart out. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that picture up all night. No, nope. no, we can't do that. Go ahead and you can take it down. Well, the take internet is forever. Dang it! <laughs> we know that there are a lot of you out there who have photos of yourself in school plays or community theater. We want you to go to Twitter and Instagram and post those photos using hashtag Tony Dreaming. We want to celebrate you on the Tonys tonight. And throughout the show, we'll see photos of our presenters in some of their very first roles. Now, since a lot of people will get to see their dream of winning a Tony come true tonight, please keep your acceptance speeches brief. This year, we have this to remind you when your time's up. It's, it's subtle, but it works. Do not mess with her. No, yeah, I saw what she did to Andrew Garfield. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, the angel from the revival of Angels in America, the most Tony Award nominating play in Broadway history. It is our pleasure to now introduce a song from our second nominee for Best Musical. Go oh, hey, look who it is! It's Ben Do you think we could sing the introduction rather than talk about it? I don't see why not. Why don't you uh, start by telling us what the show is about? Act one, scene one, we find out a volcano might destroy the whole town. Wow, that's really, really yeah. dark. Yeah, except it's fun, a psychedelic spectacle of color and sound. <laughs> Who wrote the score? I don't want to say, because it'll make you jealous. Oh, uh, I can take it. Okay, Go ahead. I Go will. Ahead. The list is long, but to name a few, John Legend, Cindy Lauper, David Bowie, Aerosmith, The Flaming Lips. And Sarah Bareilles. Hey. They might be giants for the song that we will sing from our show. It stars my dear friend Squidward, but he's feeling quite low. He dreams of great reviews, but has just been called a loser. Broadway folk can't get hurt, can't feel anything. If you want to work, you'll push it down. You'll push it down. Never out, never sick, don't stop. No holiday meals from your mom's stove top. You'll see your friends again when the contract ends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I count the shows again, this can't be right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who designed the schedule without a weekend? I gotta sit. scream but I really can't speak I'm on vocal rest all week who in their right minds would schedule the plays to be twice in a day I've got to sing this thing eight times a week Dear life, someone check on my kids and my wife. Oh, dear God, where you're out of my league. Why, Why the, the hell, hell is this eight, eight times, times a week? Here are two friends of mine who do sing it eight times a week, the current Broadway stars of Waitress. Thank God. Please welcome Catherine McPhee and Eric Bergen. Hi. 
Now, Sarah. Sarah, I am curious. Do you have any advice for the people out there who'd like to maybe someday star in a Broadway production? Absolutely. First, write a musical, then take <laughs> it to Broadway, and then star in it. I mean, <laughs> that's what I did, but, well, I'm old-fashioned. <laughs> That's all there is to it. You heard it here first, kids. <clears throat> I found out a little secret about Josh that you might not know. He loves magic, and he used to do tricks. It's true. I was that kid. <laughs> I thought that taking the magic route would open up a big new world of friends and admirers. I was incorrect. Well, I just saw the most amazing new play that's loaded with spectacular magic and illusions, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. It is truly mind-blowing. And I just happened to pick up a few things myself, and I bet I am a better magician than you. Check right. this out. Okay. Lumos! <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Oh, that's a cool one. Can you do anything with it? Yeah, check this out. Incendio! There's a delay, but it's pretty good, huh? Not bad, not bad, not bad. It has to, it has to travel through time and yeah. space to get yeah. there, yes. Yeah. yeah, hard. Yeah, warm, it's warm, too. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, uh, you know, that's not bad, you know, for an amateur. Uh, well, what can you do? Watch this. Music? I can do music, Sean. <laughs> Who are these people? Hello, welcome to the Tony Award. This is ominous. Oh my God, what is happening? You guys, there's a space thing. We like to leave a lot of personal space. <laughs> Jamie Parker? I mean, um, Harry Potter? Josh. And you thought I couldn't do magic. <laughs> Come on, babe, why don't we paint the town? And all that jazz, I don't know how to love him, what to do, how to move him. This year, Broadway has two different plays that are over five hours long, split into two parts. Yeah, have you ever been to a play that's so good you didn't want it to end? Well, lucky for you, these don't. <laughs> You're welcome. And now it is our pleasure to introduce two people who understand the real reason so many of you in this room do this thing called theater. Money. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our accountants. From the global accounting firm of Grant Thornton, our fantastic sponsor and partner tonight, Nicole Jordan and Chip Mann. How can we begin to tell you all of the glowing things we have to say about them in only 15 seconds? I mean, first, in addition to tabulating the ballots. Oh, yeah, and we're out of time. Thank you so much. You've been you great. So you guys are amazing. Thank you for everything. We love you. Thank you very much. Thank you for that. I know what you're all thinking, sure. But after De Niro, CBS told us to do something drastic, yeah. so here we are. We would just like to say one last thank you. We know the world can be a scary place, and now, more than ever, we need each other. All of you truly are a part of the cure. So for everything you do to bring healing through this living, breathing art form, this one's for you. And so it ends. The Tonys are over. Good night, all dear friends. It's been such a thrill. Thank you to theater. We love you, Miss Peters. Before we go, to all Tony dreamers at home, keep on with the show. Some hopeful young players and future Broadwayers storming the stage all aglow.